Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you had a great week. Got a really nice rain this week to get the crops off to a good start. Can start to row the corn in a lot of places, and things are looking like they have a pretty good stand so far. Markets were mixed on the week. December corn was down two cents, and November 22 beans were up 18 cents on the week. Soybeans closed on Friday at 15.41. Uh, we tested the 20-day moving average on Wednesday, and then on Thursday we shot higher and actually melted through that heavy 1540 resistance level. And on Friday today we tested 1551, um, only four cents short of the contract high that was uh, set in late February of this year. Money flows and strength indicators are turning up nicely, and they actually have some good room to run yet. Um, and bullish volume confirmed the move yesterday. We had a very good uh, candle on the daily chart on Thursday. And, uh, and long-term momentum is still in good shape. We're, we're positive, and, and it's turning up higher as well. Support levels are at 1540, followed by 1520. And resistance is at 1555. We are trading above all major moving averages uh, by quite a bit, so... Um, hopefully we can stay up here for the next week or so. Manage Money bought 15,000 contracts through Tuesday and are now net long 163,000 contracts. In regards to corn, we closed the week at $7.30. We got all the way down to test about 7.07 this week, which has been a pretty good support level. We did touch the 50-day moving average for the first time in over five months on this contract. So a lot of times price does like to revert to the mean or the average. And we did, uh, we did do that. We held support and we rallied to finish the week. Uh, the contract got very oversold and strength and money flows did turn higher. And we have quite a bit of room to run here uh, moving forward. Long-term momentum is still negative, and we are trading below the 9- and 20-day moving averages. Um, the 50-day moving average is now at $7.18, which is a really good support level, uh, followed by 708. Resistance is at 736 on this contract. If we can clear that level, uh, maybe we can start moving towards back that all-time high uh, for this contract. Managed Money sold 48,000 contracts through this past Tuesday and are now net long 291,000 contracts. This was the biggest concern for me because one of the reasons why we pay attention to Managed Money is because they're the fuel behind this market. And so they are the, the money that controls the price. They have all the buying power. So as farmers, we have to react and sell to them when they're bullish. And so, you know, over the past month, they've liquidated over $3.2 trillion in value of corn positions on the futures market. So that is concerning to me. Um, hopefully, we can see some buying action into next week to kind of uh, maybe attack those all-time highs again. But do want to pay attention to what managed money is doing, and they are starting to exit corn positions here. So that is something to pay attention to moving forward, and we'll keep a close eye on that. General updates. Commodities were volatile this week as Russia went back and forth on their stance to allow exports out of the Black Sea region. That really whipsawed commodities across the board. Um, the ports are damaged so badly, and it's unlikely any shipping company is going to send uh, high-dollar vessels into there, including their employees, um, into in a potential war zone. So, you know, there's talks the U.S. might try to get some naval presence over there and help that situation if they do uh, start shipping out grain, but we will just have to see what happens there. Corn was also weaker on Tuesday as China announced an agreement with Brazil on sourcing some corn. Um, not really a huge concern right there for me either. The demand for U.S. corn is greater than expected uh, production for this for the 2022 crop year. So if China is going to source some corn from Brazil, that's not you know nothing to do, nothing to get scared about. But um, you know. 
still a lot of demand for U.S. corn, and, and um, hopefully price will, will react to that. Soybean cash market continues to strengthen, and basis keeps improving. And it's impressive because the USDA announced, you know, back on that crop report that uh, they're, they're forecasting a record amount of soybean acres. So it's impressive that and basis is still improving like this and strengthening in this market. Old crop export sales that came out this week uh, were strong and actually exceeded the USDA expectations. New crop soybean export sales are record high for this time of year, so that was really good to see as well. Planting progress for U.S. corn this past Monday was 72% for the U.S., while Illinois was at 78%, and U.S. soybeans were at 50% planted, while Illinois soybeans came in at 62% planted. In regards to crop insurance, we are starting to receive some 578s uh, from FSA offices, so we are ready to certify your acres and get that matched up with your crop insurance for this year. You can have the FSA email us or scan us a copy of that, or we can get in touch with you to get that and get your acreage report filled out and signed. If you need to replant, please make sure you call us first. We need to turn in a claim to our adjuster, and they need to call you and give you the go-ahead. Other than that, that's all we have for this week. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to Larry, Susan, or I. Thank you for your business, and we hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend.